Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at a washing machine, how to maintain it. Uh, if you are interested in off-grid living and things like that, you are going to want a washing machine. It is, it is one of the best inventions man ever made, along with a bicycle. Major labour saving. You know, who wants to go back to washboards? No thank you. So, but one thing we do want to do is make sure we don't have to buy a whole new one because we haven't maintained it properly. So there's just a couple of little maintenance things you want to do you might notice that your machine's not performing as good as it should or but you should do this in any case so what we have is we've got the filter which is down the bottom there that needs to be cleaned and then the soap dispenser needs to be cleaned and then we need to sort of just generally clean the whole the whole machine and you can, hopefully there's some sort of cycle you can run on there so let's start off with the filter okay so to get this filter out and clean it you're going to need a tray because there's going to be a bunch of water coming out of there sponge an old rag and screwdriver probably flathead screwdriver they're all going to be probably slightly different but this one there we go. so it's got these lugs that i'm only holding it in on the top there like that Let's remove that but what will be the same on every washing machine you're going to have this filter plug here so let's lay our rag out and you put your tray there like that as close as you possibly can because it'll literally just dribble out i've already emptied this so there won't be any water coming out but just want to show you so you collect your water in there and dispose of that So let's just have a quick look inside there. So that's what it looks like inside there. I've often found screws and all other sorts of things that have come out pockets, coins and things, they can get jammed in there and jam that little motor in there. So you want to just check in there, make sure there's nothing blocking that first, and then we're gonna we're gonna clean this with just some soapy water and a toothbrush. Use a toothbrush or whatever else you need to Get in there, give it a clean. Right, now we can put that back in. Make sure it's all the way in, otherwise you end up with a leak. Pretty tight. Right, that's the filter done. So now we need to do the drawer. And on this particular one, every drawer is going to be different. This particular one, this one lifts up and then slides out like that. So again, we all need to do is give that a clean inside and out. Might be soap residue build up there, and then we can pop it back. Now the other thing is, see all those little holes up there? That's where the jets of water come out and push your detergents in the detergent drawer into the wash or soak it so that it runs into the washing machine. So you can see all that dirt up there and all that black mold in there. Just gonna get in there and clean all that out. But then also you want to get yourself one of these little tooth cleaning picks or whatever you want to call them and shove them up inside inside the holes just to make sure they're all clean just go through and pop one in each of those and clean all that and then you can pop your drawer back in 
Okay, so now that's all been done, let me pop that back in. It's clicked in. Right, the final step is just to clean all the seals. Again, you just want to use a soft cloth, bit of sofa water, nothing harsh. And just zip off and the water collects in there and goes, there's a stone there. Goes mouldy in here, doesn't it? So just regularly give that a bit of clean out. And then just wipe that down. And when you when you finish doing your washing, leave the door open like this until it looks fairly dry. So I leave it open for a few hours and then I'll close it up. Otherwise you are asking for condensation to build up and mould inside. Okay. Right, so there is actually a couple of other things you can do on a regular basis, maybe once a month or once every couple of months because you can get a build-up of detergent, grease, grime, etc, bacteria in the in the drum itself uh, and possibly in the drawer where you haven't been able to get to so the other thing to do, apart from the manual scrubbing we've been doing is you can run a, an empty hot wash uh, on the hottest setting that will hopefully flush out any detergent that's left over in the drum, so don't completely empty drum don't put anything in don't no detergent nothing just run it empty hot wash hottest wash you can do you can also add 500 grams of soda crystals which are these things you get them regularly anywhere in the supermarket check those in the drum and run that also on the hottest wash uh, that will get rid of um, any grease and bacteria inside and then you could alternatively use vinegar. White, I've got some white vinegar here, it's the cheapest stuff. Spirit white vinegar, not, ex not expensive at all. Just put a couple of cups of that in the dispenser drawer and again run it on the hottest wash and that's to get rid of odours. So covering all bases, odours, um, built up detergent and bacteria and dirt. So you can do all those two things. Don't, you could probably omit the, the hot wash on its own, but the other two, you don't really want to do them together. You don't know what that chemical reaction will be. Just, in fact, one's an alkaline and one's an acid. So they're probably going to cancel each other out. So just do one at one time and one at another time. Maybe alternate every other month or something. So that's basically it. It's taking me all of 10 minutes tops and you want to do that about four times a year and that should keep everything working nicely hope that was helpful guys and we'll see you on the next one